wow. I think back to 2000 when we took this, when, when I say we, my staff's pretty much the same staff that came with me with a lot of additions, but we were at the bottom of the Big 12 when we took this job. And uh, we took baby steps. We celebrated every little thing. We celebrated when we knew we couldn't have a losing season. We celebrated when we beat our first ranked opponent. We celebrated when we won our first road game. You had to do those things in order to build a program and to build confidence. And um, I thought about that very first year when I hugged Danielle Crockram after the game. She did our television today. And she was on that very first team. And the happiness, she just tears in her eyes when that team in 2000 went to the first NCAA tournament. And that was big to us, just getting to the tournament the very first year when the previous year they won seven basketball games. I've celebrated every year. I've never looked back on a season and said, man, that was a disappointing year. I had some disappointing losses through my career, but um, – when you, when you step back and you think about what, what we've done in 21 years, um, coaches are not blessed to have that many great players come through a program. When you have this name on your jersey, it's just, you know, it's an honor on its own to even put on a jersey like this that, you know, Nia Johnson, Odyssey Sims, Brandy Garner once wore, you know, then I looked up to them, and now I'm being coached by, you know, the, the legendary Coach Mulkey. So. Yeah. It's just, it's exciting. Um, it's an honor. And, you know, I'm grateful, forever grateful to be here for four years and being with the staff and the, you know, players that I've grown up with. So I'm just excited. Man, Queen, Queen is a hard player to stop, hard player to guard when she's Queen. And so just to, to get her going, um, it's, it's, just as, it's just as exciting to make the pass. And, um, yeah, she deserved it. I mean, you're working hard on defense. You got to reward your big. It's just, you know, they're going to stop working for you if you don't. And um, she was just in the right position at the right time. And uh, she, was, she was doing a great job today defending and getting down the court. And I know that's hard, defending the uh, biggest player out there and then trying to keep your win, get on the offensive end and work and crash the board. So uh, credit to Queen tonight. She did fantastic. You know, I remember Stefan on his campus. And there are days I didn't think I were going to make it. Just homesick and just, just sad. And, um, but I'm here now. And, um, it's been a great four years. And uh, it, was, it was really emotional. You know, you don't think. I, I, I'm gonna be honest. I really couldn't sleep last night. Excite, excited, nervous, anxious. It's just all of it. Um, I've been with these with Didi four years and uh, Coach Moki and and some of the staff and the girls that's coming into the program. You know, it's, it's it's real hard to feel like, hey, you know, this this these moments are coming to a close. So I was satisfied from start to finish on the defensive end first, starting with Queen. We know what DD brings. I don't take that for granted. We know what Moon brings. But to watch C Queen's growth defensively, having to guard bigger players. Lee is an all-conference player. She's shooting like the, the best percentage from the field of anybody in our league. And to watch her pull the chair out from under and get deflections and run the floor, it gets everybody going. Then on the offensive end, I thought that um, – we took care of the basketball. We only had 13 turnovers, but we gave players opportunities to be successful with shots they're capable of making. Now, Dijanae missed two or three threes that she normally hits, but I, I just I feel good right now about our basketball team. Knock on wood, uh, we, we want to win it outright, and we have three more opportunities to do that. We want to run the table these last three games. And then uh, we want to be smart at the conference tournament, stay away from the crowd, stay away from the public, um, because conference tournament is not as important to me as the NCAA tournament. Never has been that important to me. When, when um, you win the conference, to me, that's the most important thing. Just, it just hits you in that moment, you know, it, and it's such a simplistic statement. Um, I think Dolly Parton said it. Um, that you just, you, you, if you're going to enjoy that rainbow, you're going to have to go through the rain. And I've, in 35 years of coaching, have never coached under these circumstances. Um, it's scary. It's frustrating. And um, yet I think of those kids that were in that corner over there with their championship hats on, and they just kept playing.
whatever was asked of them, they just kept doing it, kept playing, fought through COVID quarantining. Um, imagine telling 18, 19, and 20-year-old college students, you can't socialize anymore. Now think about that. All of you that have gone to college, I mean, you go to bar rooms to hang out, you go to clubs to dance, you go to friends' houses to celebrate. They can't do that. So we forget about all those rules and protocols and regulations. We just come out here and see masks on the sideline and chairs spread out. They have no, no life once they leave the gym. And um, to think that they can continue to focus on basketball under those circumstances and win another championship, very, very special.